Welcome back to another video. Today, we got another death battle for y'all guys and women. Scooby Doo versus Courage, the Cavalry Dog. And this one, I'm a, I'm a, it, to me, it's like a pothead versus a meth head. To me, I think Courage is like on some type of meth or something. Have you seen his teeth? But. But if those two can match up, I'm going with Courage. Don't you feel me, Courage, now. Don't you do this to me. But uh, I haven't watched none of these shows in a long time, so it should be interesting about the facts they tell me about them. But from, but from Mystery Incorporated. Courage, the cowardly dog, straight out of nowhere. Canis familiaris, man's best friend, the dog. No animal companion has stood by humanity's side as long or as loyally. Even and maybe especially Look at them teeth. You see this teeth? Well, you know, it's kind of blurry the picture they use, but them teeth. Scaredy cats or dogs. He's where's my boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons. Hold up, wait a minute. Hell yeah, nah. I'm watching this video quality is ass. <laughs> Armor and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Throughout the ages, countless philosophers have posited the same question time and time again. Scooby Dooby Doo, where are you? Pretty much everywhere, from cartoons to comics, from video games to board games, from live theater to the most. That video game they just showed, I remember playing it as a kid. That was a, I, I never been, was able to finish it because I, I was stuck on one part of the game and I just said, fuck it. Incredible major motion picture of all time. He's the greatest Dane since Hamlet. But his monumental presence in popular culture belies his humble origins. Born to Momsy and Dada Do in Doosville, USA. 2 4. Man. Huh. Okay, yeah, he's a great Dane. He has a driver's license. Same birthday as Bigfoot. Niggas know what when Bigfoot birthday is? Hey, uh, Deuceville ain't what it used to be ever since they moved all those manufacturing jobs to Bangladesh. The young Scoobert was adopted by the Rogers family and their prodigal gluttonous son, Norville, better known by his friends as Shaggy. Those friends being Velma Dinkley, Daphne Blake, Fred Jones, and sometimes... <laughs> With their powers combined, they are Mystery Incorporated, a cadre of snot-nosed teenagers traveling the Nixon era United States in a cushed up Volkswagen, foiling seemingly paranormal crimes and unmasking corrupt authority figures. All of whom definitely would have gotten away with it too if it weren't for those meddling kids and their dog. Scooby is indispensable in Mystery Inc. I'm still waiting for what power Scoob has. Nice right, so. Okay, they, they, they say normal shit. Most of the time, don't they get into like the mysteries? It's just normal people. They ain't, it's unlike courage. The, the shit courage get into is like an acid trip. Investigations. Great Danes were bred by 17th century German nobility to hunt bear, boar, and deer, which means he's a master tracker. Scooby's super sniffer nose can root out the bad guys no matter how well hidden. They were called Kamarhunda or chamber dogs because they stay in their prince's chambers and protect them from assassins. Such brave, fearless doggos. Too bad for Shaggy and the gang, the apple didn't just fall far from the tree. It defied the laws of Newtonian physics and rocketed into space at the speed of light because Scooby is an absolute coward. He's terrified of his own shadow and constantly anxious about everything imaginable. And his only motivation is his delicious Scooby snacks. Which makes it so baffling that he's actually kind of a badass. Scooby's a master of the dupe, a classic technique of cartoon tricksters. Sometimes called the power of positive assertion. Scooby flexes his mastery of disguise to fool would-be attackers, like seducing zombies as a belly dancer, or tricking a jester into entering an existential crisis. This man was so Wait a minute. to rethink his existential crisis. Who the fuck is that? That's not Shaggy. What the f I never, I never seen this Scooby-Doo in my life. 
It looks like a family gas key. Is it a family gas key? This man was so thoroughly convinced to rethink his entire life. He went all the way home and got into bed before realizing he'd been fooled. Obviously, these disguises shouldn't work at all, but Scooby is just so supernaturally talented, they just do. Uh, see, this is a perfect example. No one in their right mind would think that that's anyone but Boomstick in an awful wig and makeup. That's my mom. Oof. I'm so sorry, man. Damn. Why your mom got a whole beard? <laughs> If those disguises sound completely impossible, that's because they are. You might have thought of the Scooby-Doo series as being pretty grounded with all its men and masks, but then one day, the mask did not come off. That's right, it's terror time again! Hmm. The monsters started being real, and Scooby became just as bonkers to match. Like, remember those Scooby snacks? They started there we to go. physical- There we go, give us some abilities, Scooby snacks. M Mr. Machine, yeah, I guess he can run over courage. Super, super circus. Wait, super spooker 3000. I'm over here thinking about super soaker. Time Spectre. Wonder Wand. I got a Wonder Wand. <laughs> Invisible Madman Suit. Instant Monster Ray. Sword of Fate. Tomb of Doom. Chest of demons. Hmm. Boost in strength, kind of like Popeye's spinach. That's nothing. Shaggy's brilliant uncle, Albert Shackleford, upgraded those snacks with nanite technology, giving them a variety of different effects. Everything from invisibility, robotic armor, force field, super intelligence, and Panther! Yeah, nano machines, dog! And we're just getting Why? He's a doll. Why y'all give him Panther shit? Oh, don't. I, it's a cartoon. I, I, I shouldn't be using logic for this shit. Getting started, he can stretch and squash his body any way he likes, even duplicating himself or regenerating from damage. Like being chopped into pieces, crumbling into dust, or just blowing up. Uh, his soul shit. was literally scared out of his body. He got Tomb Force. He might win this. Fuck. Imagination creation. Time manipulation, size manipulation, plot emotion, hmm. flight. Both his body and soul kept going at the same time. That doesn't make sense. He can appear in multiple places at once, ignore the laws of gravity, rewind time with his time scepter or super speed, draw things into existence, and mess with the plot of his own show. Things getting a little too spooky for him? He'll just cut to commercial break. He's also got weapons like the Super Spooker 3000, a gun that instills fear into the hearts of man. And no, no, not like an actual gun. It, it literally shoots fear. Or the Chest of Demons, an arc containing 13 monstrous ghosts. Ghost! Should you be trapped within its grasp, your body and soul will be imprisoned in everlasting torment in this heretofore undiscovered tenth circle of hell. Neat! Scooby-Doo has dodged laser beams and electromagnetic waves, survived being at the epicenter of an explosion that blew up time, and successfully performed the Zabrinsky Triangle with Shaggy and Matty Ziegler. The Zabrinsky oh. Triangle is a dance so unbelievably dangerous that even imperfect executions have caused widespread destruction. When performed perfectly, it was so beautiful it literally lit up the entire universe and blew up the enormous snow globe containing it. It makes sense if you watch the show. Actually, no, it, it doesn't. Taking this literally, we can measure the volume of the broken glass compared to the size of our entire cosmos within it. In order to shatter what is essentially an enormous glass superstructure, each dancer would have to be generating enough energy to destroy What are they talking about? That's the firmament. <laughs> universe 11 quintillion times over that's right maddie ziegler is a universe buster with scooby-doo as their nigh omnipotent mascot mystery incorporated has saved the world from alien invasions wielded the power of a yellow lantern ring and was even made a member of the mystery analysts of gotham by batman himself yes Batman, the world's greatest detective, recognizes Scooby's skills. Even facing down and defeating the evil entity, an eldritch dark god, and surviving its death, which rewrote all of reality. Yeah, 
you know, the talking dog that crossed over with the Harlem Globetrotters and Don Knotts defeated Satan. No biggie. So, where is Scooby-Doo? He's solving mysteries and saving the world with his found family. Also, he's an alien. Wait, what? We interrupt this program to bring you Courage the Cowardly Dog Show, starring Courage the Cowardly um, Dog Show. Look at his teeth, I'm telling you. He does meth, he's on meth. That's why he's seeing all this shit. He's on meth, laced for acid or some shit. Dog, abandoned as a pup, he was found by Muriel, who lives in the middle of nowhere with her husband, Eustace Bag. But creepy stuff happens in nowhere. It's up to courage to save his new home. They in the middle of nowhere because they selling shit. They selling something. Come on. Stupid whiz, you made me look bad. Ooga booga booga. You're breathing on me. Get away. Sorry. But who wouldn't be excited for one of animation's mightiest mutts? Courage is an adorable pink beagle with a heart of gold and an... What the fuck is a beagle size? My brain's so fucked up, I'm thinking bagel. I'm like, some damn, that's a small ass dog. Nickname Stupid Dog, Dear Boy. Leon? Oh, that boy Leon. Not named Stinky Lulu. Okay. Can't lay 14 carat golden eggs. Undying love for his doting Scottish mistress. Beagles are hair hunters with intense separation anxiety, excellent senses of smell, and a set of lungs that'll knock your socks off. All of which fits Courage to a T, especially the howling part. To be fair, Courage has a lot to howl about. Nowhere USA is a magnet for interdimensional weirdness, attracting some of the strangest freaks in the world. Like master criminals, cats and laquack, mattress demons, mummies, moles, mad scientists, god Gods and goddesses, aliens, robots, alien robots, this chicken, the king of flan, and of course, the United States government. And poor courage. I don't know why, but I can remember the king of flan episode. I think that was one of my favorite episodes. Of course, Cowardly Dog. Don't know why, but it, I, I can almost vividly remember that episode. Absolutely terrified of all of it, but his devotion to Muriel means he'll always step up and fight the good fight. Good thing he's kind of a genius. He's a brilliant engineer capable of whipping up the most devious of traps almost instantly, and he's got an unending supply of tools at his disposal. Everything from his trusty mallets to grappling hooks, ray guns, flamethrowers. Oh shit, he got ray gun? Magic tree of nowhere. Banishment spell. God bone. <laughs> Flamethrower, giant chainsaw, mind control helmet, and remote. Instant quicksand. Huh. Dark matter meteor? Bombs, beagle sized cannons, yo yos, a mind control helmet, vampire hunting gear, and the god bow. An ancient artifact that is completely irresistible to any mortal dog, forcing them to lick it until they die. Except for courage, of course. I guess if you have the willpower to stare down a gigantic purple foot mobster, you can resist even the most delicious of treats. And he can pull all of this stuff out of his hand. Uh, he is looking at nasty ass foot. Anytime he wants, he always has exactly what he needs. All thanks to his computer named computer a sentient desktop which knows almost anything and everything even if he has a bit of an attitude about it which me sorry if my mic was low you know apparently the volume was not at full maximum like i had it but anyway let's keep going he's always prepared especially when he can shape shift his body into literally anything he can think of from inanimate objects to monsters to different animation mediums entirely courage usually uses this as a form of charades to communicate with others but don't get it twisted these aren't just visual animation gags his body is actually shapeshifter courage's body is a canvas upon which his imagination runs wild he can stretch to crazy lengths, shrink to microscopic sizes, turn invisible, appear anywhere he wants, or duplicate himself. He's also effectively immune to damage. Oh, he still feels pain, but apparently his sheer terror overrides it. Like the times he tore himself in half, or turned himself fully inside out. The dude somehow vaporized his entire body Some of the shit I never see, I gotta watch. Go back to watching Courage Calorie Dog. 
I didn't see, like some of those Scooby Doo shows. I ain't, I ain't see them. I only saw like the old ones. Scooby Doo, me Doo, who are you? Like the original. I this new shit. I ain't. I don't know nothing about. Completely without even ash remaining, and he just popped back good as new. Classic cartoon shenanigans, but technically anatomically correct. Until it isn't. Courage can create objects from his imagination and often breaks the fourth wall, directly addressing the audience. Now, you would think being an impossible to kill force of nature would boost his confidence a bit, but isn't that what anxiety does to you? It undermines your sense of self worth and magnifies the problems around you. Sure, but Courage is also fighting gods just as powerful as himself. Like this enormous alien which could spike meteors so hard it spun the Earth a thousand years into the future. That's great! Then, Courage got shot out of a cannon that punched him through the moon, only to get slapped by that same alien and sent crashing back to the planet. And he was fine! Courage is strong enough to physically patch up holes in the ozone layer, hold stars in his hands, and scream so loud he shattered the sun. A scream like that would be like getting hit with over 100 septillion hydrogen bombs all at once. Why well, do I feel like he might still lose? Because they're going to say, well, Scoob destroyed the universe before. That's more powerful than just destroying the sun. Which is, you know, a lot. And keep in mind, the sound waves of his scream would have had to travel through the near vacuum of space. Basically, a complete scientific impossibility. Next time you replace my beers in the fridge with LaCroix, I'm getting my boy Jack Spaniels to blow up the sun. You've been warned. That's not all. One time he operated a peloton controlling a UFO and pedaled it fast enough to fly past Saturn, enter hyperspace, and cross the Milky Way galaxy. Though Courage's greatest challenge came from inside his very home. A monster who tortures his poor pooch every single day. A depraved, psychotic motherfucker. The true prince of dark. How they do this animation when they black out? Uh, oh, the old dude. That's pretty cool. Darkness. The greatest op. Eustace. He even collected all of Courage's greatest foes like a legion of doom, all to mercilessly beat Courage to a pulp in a game of dodgeball. It gives all rednecks a bad name, Wiz. I want to end him. Low. Okay, well, Courage's accumulated PTSD always held him back until he met a kindred spirit, another cowardly monster hunting hound. Scooby-Doo. Oh yeah, I remember him. Together they discover the source of nowhere's weirdness, a dark matter meteor that controlled reality itself. Originally the meteor that wiped out the dinosaurs, its dark matter can rewrite the laws of physics, control minds, and turn Courage into a giant kaiju. Taking the meteor for himself, Courage finally faced his fears, defeating this cicada queen goddess thing, and saving his family once and for all. Yes, even Eustace. Shit. So let that be a lesson to any who would encroach upon the bag's humble farm. It has a protector. He may be small and he may be scared, but standing up to our fears is what makes us brave in the first place. That's why his name is Courage. With them, with, with them mess, messed up teeth. Ooh wee. Episode of Death Battle sponsored by Shady Ray. Are you excited for this? It's time for a dog battle! Oh god, when I say it like that, it sounds. Oh, Michael Vick. Damn, this is like a Michael Vick episode. Pit bull fighting. This is a dog fight. Mm mm mm. Illegal. Are they gonna fight or are they just who gonna survive the monster? Come on, come on! <laughs> 
Damn. Ray gun. Oh, he about to run them over. <laughs> All dogs love their bones, don't they? <laughs> this could be bad. My name is Chad James. And it's not. Fuck him up! Stupid dogs! You made me look bad! What's her? Since the Great North Sancho Singularity event of 2015, if we had a result like this, it can't end like this, right? Even with Courage's insane cosmic feats, you'd think the Zabrinsky Triangle would be enough to seal the deal. But both pooches could regenerate from basically any kind of physical damage. Both were incredibly smart in different ways. Scooby was more of a trickster with his dupes, while Courage was a scheming genius. Computer could have given Courage the edge if not for their canon crossover where it failed to have solid information on Scooby and the gang. So I guess it came down to their unique abilities. And for 90% of their arsenals, they were evenly matched. Transmutation, mind control, you get it. They're tuned to basically anything except for the chest of demons and the dark matter meteor. Sure, the chest could theoretically always track Courage, but he'd always be able to escape and destroy it with the Dark Matter Meteor. But Scooby could repair the damage by reversing time and then trap him again. And then Courage would break out again. You know where this is going. Ultimately, this battle between man's best friends would never end. But this is a death battle. Somebody has to die. Someone did, Wiz. Uh, <laughs> someone did. <laughs> Let me tell you that you're kind of scary sometimes. I don't like dog killers. Scooby and Courage were incredibly tough opponents that could go blow for blow for blow. They were smart, powerful, and incredibly broken. Doggone it, Wiz! I guess you could say Eustace had one hell of a rough day. I shit you not. Oh, those were powerful. Stop. This battle is a draw. And hi, guess what? I already know what's coming next. Rick and Morty versus Doctor Strange, which we already know Rick and Morty. Rick is gonna win. But does this technically mean I still won since it's a draw? But anyway, 
See you guys later. Deuces. Uh.